The next add-on that I want to look at is the copy attributes menu. So let's assume for a second that we have our object here. And on our object, we've gone in, we've added in all kinds of different things, such as maybe an array modifier. Uh, then we've added in a, a mirror modifier. And you know we've done all kinds of different things. Maybe we've even uh, added in a material to this. We can then maybe set this material. So any number of things that we've done. And we want to replicate those same settings onto our new cube. So we've added a new cube, and then we decide that we want to add those same, uh, the, say the modifiers to this cube, we want to add the materials, and we just want to copy it. So the copy attributes menu is really wonderful. You can find it by searching for copy and view 3D copy attributes menu. We can enable it. You can see the info. We can see that the hotkey for it is control C. So we'll just close out of this. And if we then hit control C, we get this large menu that pops up. It gives us all these other options, copy location, copy rotation, scale, draw options, time offset, all these other things that otherwise we wouldn't have be able to copy and that you'd have to do manually. Now you notice that they're all grayed out right now. And this is because Blender is looking for basically multiple objects, objects to be selected. So the first object you selected, select is the things that are going to be copied or the object that the things are going to be copied from. The second object you select is then what you're going to copy to. So I select this one and then I select my other one and I hit control C and then I can choose what I want to copy. So maybe I want to copy the modifiers and that will, oops, actually, okay, I had that in reverse. Uh, first, you want to select uh, the one that you want to copy to, then you're selecting the primary one, because basically you're saying you want to grab this data and you want to put it to this one. So I just had that reverse. So now I hit Control C, choose Copy Modifiers, and it then copies that directly to it with the exact same settings. You can see we've got a lot of different options here from color to mass for uh, dynamics, protected transforms, group links, vertex weights, a lot of the other things that you've put in here uh, will allow you to copy these. So one in particular that's very useful is we have our draw options. If we go over to the, the, our object properties here, we have the display here. And we can set our main display type for say solid or wireframe or textured. And you know maybe we could just say we've enabled wireframe right here. And then we have 100 objects in our scene that we all want to have the wireframe displayed on. Well, you don't want to go through and do those one by one. So you can select this, then you can select the next one, and then hit Control C, and choose Copy Draw Options, and then it will just copy those right across. So very, very handy little add-on that allows you to copy some things that otherwise would be very tedious to do across multiple objects.